Dwayne Wade coming off a strong contest. Meanwhile, LeBron James answering Danny Granger in the practice the day before. We had three technicals in the series, getting physical with him. Whatever he's trying, it's not working. I guess he's doing it for his own psyche. It's stupid. Here's LeBron James. Smartly going to the basket. It, it, it didn't work on that play. No, 12-5. Miami out in front. Then Mario Chalmers. Shane Battier showing up early. Katie Martador. Nine points in the first quarter. He had eight in the entire four games preceding this one. There's Danny Granger answering back, trying to keep Indiana close. First quarter, winding down, LeBron. Bang! A deep three. 26-20 at that point, Miami. Second quarter, D-Way drives and bump and hits. Yeah, he was so good and so much quicker the last two games, Coach. Just a lot more bounce, a lot more confidence, and a lot more flagrant fouls. Yeah, it's yeah. a little nasty here. <laughs> he also Ty made some tough shots in the end ones. Tyler Hansbro picks up the flagrant one. D-Wade. Picks up a cut over the eye. And then Hansbro drives and Udonis Haslam retaliating. Oof. There oh. are some who said he made a play on the ball, though. He did. He just had his eyes closed. He didn't know where it was. <laughs> that's another flagrant one. And we assume that's going to be reviewed. And it may change. But the shot clock winding down. Hibbert, what? A three? I mean, he made a good shot, but I'm just trying to figure out why is my three-point shooter 25 feet from the basket? Good question. My center, I should say. This is a game changer, maybe a series changer. Danny Granger landing on LeBron James, rolling the left ankle, had to leave the game. And that's not a good sign if you're a Pacer fan. Meanwhile, LeBron James steal and a little fancy wave there to the basket. A little more fancy for most. Half winding down. Look at this play. Playing catch with Wade. Yeah, David West made a great play. I thought that last minute of that second quarter really started the beginning of the end. Well, we were talking about it in the, back in the back about, you know, hold on, the, the game could change very quickly. It goes from three points up to nine points, and it had a chance to go the other way, but Miami did a better job of closing the quarter. Well, that's Granger being wheeled off. He tried to go in the third quarter, could not do it. And meanwhile, Wade, now suddenly everything is working for Dwayne Wade. The and one made the free throw. Turiaf blocking Hibbert. Wow, what a play. Outlet LeBron, falling out of bounds, hits Wade. You can't teach this. Can't you? Nah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's one of the hardest plays you'll ever see. I mean, that was a really impressive play. That's crazy. Then LeBron behind everyone. Look how quickly, coach, they get down the floor and score in a second. They're very athletic, and they're great finishers. And Here's Mike Miller, Sands shoe. I think Mike He's not did quite that. as athletic. No, he's not quite as athletic. He just wanted some TV time. <laughs> he got it. Wade, a floater in the fourth. 79 57 now. Miami is pulling away. And then Wade. Oh, my goodness. Answering back on Hansborough, who fouled him hard early on and got the flagrant one. Mm. Hmm. LeBron James working, feeling it, hitting it. It's always nice to have a bigger guy trying to guard you. <laughs> On the perimeter, right? The perimeter. <laughs> now Wade with a corner three, and Miami just pouring it on. LeBron had 30 in the game, Wade 28. And oh, this is where it oh, got just out of control. Really Dexter Pittman to the chops of Lance Stevenson. Right in that throat area. That made the uh, choke sign disappear. Oh, Well, clearly, that was the message delivered back to young Lance Stevenson regarding that choke sign to LeBron.